you know, I've taken a lot of things for granted in life. There is so much about this world that I don't understand. I'm trying to approach it in a way that's different and unique. I want to be my best self, but I'm afraid to let people down. That's the truth. Forged in the crucible of destiny, the hero deck serves as a testament of the unyielding spirit of the duelist. It serves as a vivid demonstration that even in the darkest of times, when fate hangs precariously, heroes will always emerge and rise above and triumph against the insurmountable odds. With this deck, one becomes a conduit of justice, reminding all that the power of unity and unwavering determination can shape the course of destiny itself. All right, guys, so I don't know about you, but I don't play a lot of different decks. I spend a lot of my time playing against the meta and even against other rogue duelists. So for me, taking a step into another deck is a big deal. And I feel like that you guys should really know and understand what I'm saying when I say that. So in the hero deck, basically what you're looking for is to find your own particular type of justice. It's not necessarily um, any particular way to play the hero deck. It's just like the DD deck in that uh, respect. You know, you can play the DD deck any way that you want, but there are a couple of monsters that are just outright so strong, so powerful. It kind of shapes the dynamic of the standard combo line you see coming out of most hero or most DVD players. What I found that to be is these four boss monsters. So you got Dark Law, which is obvious because Dark Law is that game winner clutch meta game killer. You know what I'm saying? Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer. I don't even gotta say nothing else about that. Sunrise and you know, and I'm not sure when Sunrise dropped, but I'm sure when Sunrise dropped, hero players were rejoicing all over the world because Sunrise is actually one of the best hero cards that I think has ever been printed. So it's just a good card overall. And then of course, there's like many other cards that you can use in collaboration with Sunrise to draw cards, blow stuff up, whatever it is you wanna do. So Sunrise is that, is that third, and we all know who the fourth one is, Destiny Hero Plasma. Don't even gotta think about that, don't even gotta judge that. Most hero players end up dropping at least two of those cards. And the problem with playing these boss monsters, which I will talk to later on in this video, is the combo line to get from point A of open hand and no cards played to point Z, which is dropping the boss monster. You can nuke your opponent's entire board. You can destroy all their monsters and destroy all their spells and traps with one mass change. You get absolute zero in the field first and then you mass change off zero into acid. So that's just pretty busted. So you're probably wondering why everyone doesn't play hero. Why is a hero a tier one deck? Well, I'll tell you why that is, my boy. Honestly, it is because the combo lines in the hero deck. The combo lines are very convoluted, the combo lines are long, and the combo lines can actually cause you to lose. A lot of combo lines are weak to Ash. There's a lot of searching going on in the hero deck, but if you use your Ash on the hero decks, typically you wanna make sure that you're using the Ash on the sunrise and stop the sunrise search or anything else like that. So without any further ado or delay, we're gonna be getting in there for a duel in this beautiful optimal weather. We're gonna be clapping some anime cheeks in real life. I'm gonna get in that ass and make them touch the grass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
All right, let's start out this duel, and it looks like I'm going second. So let's see what our opponent has here. So starting off with Golden Sarcophagus. Pop Gold Sarcophagus is in a Despian Tragedy to the Banished Zone. Despian Tragedy effect activates, allowing him to search the Alibur. Alibur summons to search Branded Fusion. Branded Fusion goes, and I'm going to go ahead and just hit him with the Ash. You know I'm saving that Ash for Branded Fusion. You know I've got the cash, I've got the ash. So I'm gonna drop the ash of awesome and negate that brand of fusion in this man's entire career. We're gonna go ahead and pass turn. And looks like I got a pretty decent hand with Shadow Mist, Vion, Liquid Soldier, uh, Plasma, and also Mask of Change. And I think that's really dope. So I think we can actually win with no TK on this hand. So we're gonna summon out Vion, send Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist is gonna search the deck, add Ferris. Ferris effect is gonna activate, sending a second copy of Shadow Mist to the grave. Our opponent's gonna chain Maxi. Now, I'm a little worried about Maxi because you have stuff like Bestials and Effect Veiler and other cards that could uh, potentially harm us and then also Ash Blossom has not been played by our opponent yet. So I'm a little scared of that, but I'm gonna just continue to play here because there's no point in you know waiting or holding myself up if I know that at the end of the day, it's gonna be win or lose, live or die. So we just gotta make that decision right now. So we're gonna go ahead and activate um, the effect of uh, Ferris and then go ahead and set increase to the field. And then we're gonna activate Vion and get that polymerization. Now we're gonna get rid of Vion, bring on the increase and then bring back Vion, then activate polymerization, infuse um, increase and liquid soldier to make Sunrise. So that's one of our first boss monsters here. Sunrise's effect is going to pop off along with Liquid Soldier. Sunrise is going to let me add Miracle Fusion. Liquid Soldier is going to allow me to draw two, discard one, which is really freaking good. That's Graceful Charity. Uh, looks like we drew two and discarded Malicious off of that. So that's extra busted. And then we're going to go ahead and activate Reinforcements to the Army to go and get it. So Plasma Effect activates, and we're going to go ahead and take um, the Alibur. And then we're gonna go ahead and banish two cards in the graveyard, Liquid Soldier and Vion. And then we're gonna bring out Absolute Zero. This is the coldest combo out. So right now we, we have game on board. We have three monsters with 3000 attack. And then we also have, in terms of card economy, we are breaking even in terms of the cards that we have here. So, you know, we started the turn with six cards, we're ending the turn with six cards, and we're ending the turn with six cards where our opponent about to lose. So let's go in there and attack with Sunriser, and then our opponent's gonna respond by summoning a bestial monster. Now, normally this would be a hassle or a problem, and, and it would really suck, but good thing, uh, all monsters' effects are negated due to Plasma, and then we also have Mass Change. So we're gonna go ahead and attack with Plasma, attack with the Absolute Zero, and then we're gonna change Absolute Zero out for the coldest monster in the game, Mass Hero Acid, and then Mass Hero Acid is gonna go ahead and wrap this duel for us with 3,200 points attacking directly. So this is the power of the heroes, my boy. Put my problems in the paper, then pass them around. Loud enough to wake the neighbor, they mad at the sound. Trying to dial up the deputy, mad at my brown. My back at the wall, battling, straddling, blurred lines of where the heat and the fanning begin. Kind of funny what the people call a legend, the government call a weapon, but really he just a man in the end. He just a man in the end. Now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord that I wake again.